Hey all, Eric Christensen here from meded101.com. Uh, I'm excited this week. I'm giving a talk to a bunch of uh, nursing staff and, and nurses uh, about uh, some of the challenges with the, the opioid crisis that's going on. And we're going to talk about chronic pain, we're going to talk about addiction, and we're going to talk about drug diversion as well, particularly uh, drug diversion within um, healthcare facilities, long-term care facilities, assisted livings, and so on and so forth. I've got extensive experience in, in working with that um, in my job as a, a consultant pharmacist. There probably wasn't a month or two that, that went by um, where I didn't get a call, an email, um, you know, simply just chatting with the director of nursing about a potential issue. Uh, discrepancies of controlled substances and and things along those lines. So I wanted to cover two really important points uh, to kind of simplify uh, controlled substance tracking and, and monitoring. Uh, the first one is limited access. Okay, That's one sure way to help prevent drug diversion or at least catch it sooner. So limited access is the, the first important point you got to remember. And I don't mean limited access in a policy and procedural type of method. I mean it in an actual sense. So let me explain that a little bit. Uh, so example number one, um, had an individual that understood that a, a nurse left the medication cart open frequently when she stepped away. And this particular individual had it timed out. They knew when the nurse was doing a dressing change for a specific resident that took a long time. And at that time, that individual was able to steal medications out of a, a medication cart. So that's one kind of classic uh, example that I, I have come across in the past. Um, another example of you know thinking about uh, limited access is those medication carts that have passcodes and or keys. So leaving the keys laying around or in a hidden drawer that everybody knows that's where the keys are, not appropriate, we're not limiting access by having a system like that. Same thing with the, the punch codes. You know, if those numbers are so worn out on the uh, punch codes to get access to the medication cart, well, maybe it's time to switch that code. Same thing with individuals watching staff members punch in that code to get access to the medication cart. Um, we've seen scenarios of, of that happen as well. So limited access, number one. First thing you should think about uh, number two biggest thing you can do to kind of limit um, and try to uh, prevent and catch drug diversion quickly is, of course, auditing. So this is the process of basically checking how many pills, tablets, patches, whatever you've got, um, basically comparing that to a log or a, a registration sheet and matching that up and, and making sure that makes sense. So. One big mistake I see there in, in auditing uh, is staff who simply look at the book and then they actually look at the, the medication card and say, yep, that's about right, okay? So when you're doing that with two people and having two people sign, you wanna make sure that the staff member looks at the medication card and says, yes, there are 23 tablets of oxycodone five milligrams in here then the person holding or looking at the book or um, you know count sheet they can say yes there are 23 or no there aren't versus the other way around you can tend to get a little bit sloppy um, and, and get into um, a hurry which I've certainly uh, seen staff do there so First is limited access, second is auditing. And obviously the more we count that medication, the more often we can do that, the better accountability we're gonna have. So, and, and this is a, a logistical challenge for sure. 
Um, staff have to do what they do and, and take care of patients, um, but the more uh, frequent we're able to uh, count and, and track those medications, um, it really narrows down the, the time frame um, if a discrepancy is identified. So an example I've seen that's come into play um, as needed medication, so let's say a, a tramadol, an opioid, a schedule four opioid, and maybe policy and procedures in place, and there's nothing in place other than to count as you use that medication. Well, that medication could sit on the cart for three, four, five, six months and not be used. And in the event that somebody goes to use it, okay, now we can't find that card. All of a sudden you have three months, anywhere in the, the time frame of three months uh, that could have elapsed and, and passed by that that card could have been taken or, or stolen. So again, that, that auditing, um, having you know good procedures in place, reasonable procedures in place. Obviously, um, you know we we can't count medications every hour or something silly like that. So, um, yeah, limited access, auditing, two basic basic principles um, you need to understand as far as uh, monitoring and, and tracking controlled substances. It takes a very special person to be a hospice nurse, caring for patients who are terminally ill and easing the concerns of their loved ones. It is more than a job. It's your passion and your life's calling. You face incredible challenges and circumstances every day. Pharmacy-related tasks shouldn't be one of them. Hospice Pharmacy Solutions is pleased to introduce RX Connects, the next evolution in pharmacy workflow. RX Connects completes the loop of patient demographics, medication history, and formulary management at the point of prescribing with automated prior authorization management and the ease and security of electronic transmission of prescriptions. RX Connects was created with you in mind to help minimize your time on traditional pharmacy tasks so that you can spend more time doing what you love, what you do best, caring for patients and their families. Our system is cloud-based, easy to use, simple to navigate, and accessible on the computer as well as apps for iOS and Android mobile devices. And best of all, RX Connects works seamlessly auto-populating patient data and dispense history. RX Connects is a powerful workflow solution. Order and refill medication, including controlled substances from the same application. Write and verify prescriptions while being guided with real-time formulary compliance. View medication alternatives in the same therapeutic class. View allergies and drug interactions based on the patient's medication order history. Confirm when the script is successfully transmitted to the pharmacy. Obtain approval or notices from authorized approvers. Powered by RxNT, a five times SureScripts award-winning certified application, Rx Connects is the next evolution in hospice workflow, reducing tedious, time-wasting traditional processes, allowing you to be more efficient and spend more time caring for patients. Imagine your day without a prescription pad or waiting for a fax machine to pick up. Well, that day is here with Rx Connects. Hospice Pharmacy evolved.